Hey guys, today we are going to talk about mirrors, right? The, so the only, there are only two things different from lenses. The formulas are the same. 1 by F is equal to 1 by D. 1 by D0 plus 1 by DI, that's the same. The magnification M is equal to minus di by do is also equal to hi by ho height of the image is height of the object the only thing here is now mirrors actually spherical mirrors are you make spherical mirrors by cutting off a section of a sphere let's say this is a sphere this is a radius R, right? Then I will cut off part of the sphere so that I get a mirror. You see? So if I have, right? So if I have coating, reflected surface coating on this side, then it will make a concave mirror or it will be reflecting in this direction. So this is the radius of curvature of this mirror and r is simply related to this is the focal point f then the whole radius is r then this distance is 2f which is r right okay so the radius of that sphere is r and which is simply equal to 2f the focal length of that mirror that you would have gotten by cutting the sphere like this, right? So if <coughs> instead of coating, let's say like mercury coating on outside, let's suppose we quote it, coat it in inside, then the reflecting surface will be on this side. Then it will be a convex mirror instead of a concave mirror, right? So that's the only difference. The formulas are the same. Now, let me do it. <coughs> uh, explain to you how to draw do ray tracing diagrams so for a concave mirror or a diverging mirror sorry uh, converting con mirror that is let me draw here F this is R, which is 2F. Light rays parallel, coming parallel to the axis will go through the focal point. So just like the lenses, if a light ray coming passing the focal point, then it will go out parallel. And then if it's up and hit at this point, then it will be reflected with incident angle and the reflected angle the same, right? So that's just law of reflection. Actually, law of reflection is obeyed, right? So <coughs> that's for the case of the concave mirror. In the case of the convex mirror, then the reflecting surface is on this side so this is F and this is R which is 2F that light ray coming parallel will look like it will be reflected like that right? so if you notice that if I draw a line from the center of this spherical mirror from here to here if I draw a line it will be perpendicular of course because the line drawn from the center of a circle to the radius it will be perpendicular at the circumference right so this is perpendicular here 
and this angle and this angle are equal. That's just law of reflection, right? So it's that they do. But uh, nevertheless, I'm just trying to explain to you. And if it is coming aim at the focal point, right? Then it will go out parallel to the axis. Okay? But it looks like it's coming from the focal point. Alright? Uh, so if you aim at the focal point, then it will be reflected back parallel. If it comes in parallel, it will look like it's coming from the focal point. Same thing. Now, if you have a light ray coming to this point, then it will be reflected back with the same angle. This angle and this angle will be the same. Alright? So it's no big deal. Alright? Okay. So, let me do simple ray tracing diagrams. I'll start with a concave mirror. I'll do two cases for concave mirror. So let's say this is F and this is 2F of R. And I put my object somewhere here. So the light ray coming parallel to the axis, we know what will happen to them. They will be reflected going through the focal point. Another one is that come through the focal point will be reflected back parallel to the axis. So you see the two light rays they cross here. Reflected rays cross here and that's where your image is formed and the image you see is upside down. It's real. You can project it on a screen and it will be upside down. Right? Now, let's suppose I want another. So I'm going to move this thing. As I move this object, you see this, this image is going to move to the right. As I move this object to the left, this guy is going to move to the right. You can try that. Okay? You can draw that. Now what I'm going to do is, I keep on moving until I pass the focal point. That's what I want to do. So that's where the coating is. Let's say the focal point is here. This is 2F or R. So I put my object key here. Then what I do is I draw a parallel line. Then it'll look like it's coming, it'll go through the focal point. Another one is it hit this apex, then it'll be reflected back with equal angles, right? So this angle theta and this angle theta they will be the same. So now you see, obviously, these two light rays are not going to meet on this side. So they are going to look like, if you put your eye here, your big eye here, red eye, then the light rays coming into the eye, and you, your eye, or you will think that the light rays are coming from this point. Right? So... They, the light rays do not really meet. They look like they are coming from there. And that's your virtual image. And you see that it's much larger than the original size object. And also it is upright. Right? Not upside down like this. It's upright. Alright? So that's your virtual image. Just like in the lenses. Remember when you put the object between the lens and the focal point? then you get a virtual image, right? On the other side, uh, on the same side as your lens, right? See, if you put this F, that, then parallel rays will go 
going to the focal point. It will go like that. So then the virtual image will be here, the same side as the object, you see? Right? So that was the, the one for lenses. Right? This is the one for <coughs> concave mirrors. Now I'm going to draw one more for con convex mirrors. This one doesn't matter where I put. This is my F, my object. You will always get a virtual image. So let's see. I do a parallel line ray coming to the mirror. It will look like it's coming from here to go out. Then <coughs> I hit the center. So this angle and this angle will be the same. It's coming from here. Looks like it's coming from there. So your image is going to be here. Right? So of course your eye is here. So this light ray and this light ray are going to go into your eye and you think that this guy and this guy, they are coming from this point, right? Okay, so that is drawing ray tracing diagram for mirrors. Now let me do two examples. Example number one is, uh, example, the first example is example 25.9. That's very simple, 25.9. <coughs> You have a concave mirror. You have a concave mirror. R is equal to 2F is equal to 50 centimeters. So it's 50 centimeters. Right away, then we can find F, which is. 25 centimeters. And then they said they put an object and they found that the <coughs> distance of the image from the mirror is 300 centimeters. So DI, distance of the image from the mirror, is 3 meters or 300 centimeters. All right? So we want to find where the object is. Well, we have 1 by F is equal to 1 by DO plus 1 by DI, right? So what we want is 1 by D, DO on one side, which is equal to 1 by F minus 1 by DI. And then I can just substitute 1 by 25 minus DI which is 300 centimeters. So <coughs> what we get is, well, we'll just calculate it. So 300, 25 goes into 104 times, so into 300 is 12 times, minus 1, which is equal to 11 by 300. So we get D0 is equal to 300 by 11, which is 11 times, <coughs> what is that, it goes into 2 times, 22, so 8, so that's 7 times, so that's <coughs> 27, so 3, and so on, right? So anyways, I'll put approximately 27 centimeters, right? So that's a simple problem, all right? Now, Another example is the <coughs> example 25.11. So, before you do that, let me explain to you what they're talking about. What they want is they want to find out the radius of curvature of your cornea. 
So you see the eye, you have a lens here, and this is your retina, right? That's where the image is formed. The back side, that's a retina. This is the lens. And this is the cornea. Right? So the doctor wants to measure the radius of curvature of the cornea, that is R, for this guy. Right? So <clears throat> they are going to shine light, and this cornea is going to act like a little mirror. So this mirror, actually this cornea is the mirror that you are thinking about. So F is here and 2F or R is this point, right? And you want to measure the radius of curvature of your cornea, right? That's what the eye doctors want to do. So they are going to put an object or a light source somewhere here, then it will look at the image, right? And look at the size of the image, and from the size of the image you are going to determine the radius of curvature of the cornea, right? So <coughs> the magnification you get is 0 0.032. So magnification you get is 0 0.032. So if you remember magnification, what is that? Magnification is minus di by do, right? So that's magnification. So what does that mean? That means <coughs> that if I know the object distance and I know the magnification, then I can get the <coughs> distance of the image. Once I get the distance of the image, then I can find F, which is the focal length of the lens. Once you get the focal length of this cornea, not the lens, sorry, the cornea, which is acting like a convex mirror, then I can find the radius of curvature. So that's the strategy, right? So the first thing is we need to find what DI is. So N is minus di by do, do is 12 centimeters if I'm not wrong, that is the light source, they put the light source at 12 centimeters away. So I want to find di, so di is equal to negative n is 0 0.032 and do is 12 centimeters, so the answer I get is negative uh, 3.84. It tells you that it's behind the cornea, right? Because it's a concave mirror, sorry, convex mirror as we said before, so then the image will form beyond, <coughs> behind the, <coughs> the cornea, right? So I get the eye which is negative. Now we know the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by do plus 1 by di. Right? That's the general formula for mirrors and lenses. So now I, can, I want to find f. So 1 by f is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by negative 3.84 so you can do the number I'll get f is equal to <coughs> f is equal to negative 0.4 centimeters okay so what it means is this focal length of this little convex mirror formed by your cornea is 0.4 this length is 0.4, right? So this this is 0.4 centimeters. So <clears throat> if we want the radius of curvature, which we always give only the magnitude, so we'll just take magnitude of f, which is equal to magnitude of 0.4, sorry, 2f 
So magnitude of 0.4 times 2, which is equal to 0 0.8 centimeter. So the radius of curvature of your cordia is 0 0.8 centimeters. What it means is this. This is your eye, this is your cordia. So if I make a perfect sphere out of your cordia, then the radius, this distance, is 0.8, that's your R. Right? This problem has nothing to do with the lens inside your eye. It's only something to do with the cornea that is outside. Right? Okay.